What an absolutely wild few weeks it's been for Manchester United. And Eric Ten Hag in the start of his Premier League career as Manchester United manager. But I don't mean that in the best way or the nicest way in any way, shape or form. To start like we did against Brighton and to follow it up like we did against Brentford was downright... You know, I, don't know the, I don't know the way to describe it. There's not a superlative strong enough to explain how bad that performance was against Brentford. And lo and behold, we got Liverpool coming up at Old Trafford on Monday. And the way that football works, if we beat Liverpool, we go ahead of, ahead of them in the Premier League. I don't particularly think we will. But if we do, we can. And that's got to be energy for Eric Ten Hag. So what I'm going to do in this video is run through my sort of predictions for what changes I think he will make and what changes I think he should make for this game because changes have to come. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But look, that game there last week was absolutely atrocious. And that's putting it politely. Really, it was just, it was the latest string. If the first game end, ended up feeling like the 39th game of last season, then that game against Brentford was the 40th game. It was abysmal. Every single man shocking shockingly bad and if you look at that this was a team that started in that game i actually got my 11 spot on which is annoying but because i actually get it right and then we play like that but i'm going to run through what my prediction is for this game and the changes i think eric ten Hag should make but i want to say a big shout out to super six for supporting night people's tv now i may not have got my predictions that accurate in the first week but big up to Super 6 for supporting United People's TV again this weekend. Obviously, we've got Liverpool on Monday. You've got Newcastle against City. You've got Chelsea against Leeds. Who will win what? You can follow the link in the description. There's a new league, United People's TV league, for all of you to join. So follow that link. If you get all six correct, you could be in with a chance of winning a million quid. What more could you want? And even if you don't get all six correct and you beat my score, you could be in with a chance of winning a United shirt. And that probably won't be that hard, given my predictions. I'm back in this. I'm back in Everton to beat Nottingham Forest. Leicester to lose at home to Southampton. I think Arsenal will breeze past Bournemouth. Uh, I'm going to go for a Leeds. One all draw at Ellen Road. And down here with the last two, I think City will just steamroll Newcastle. Actually, not steamroll, but I think they'll have enough overall. I'm actually back in United and Liverpool on a two-all draw, which is probably spectacular anyway. But you can let me know what your Super 6 predictions would be by joining the league. Follow the link in the description. As I said, you get them all right, you could be in with a chance of winning a million quid. And even if you don't get them all right and you beat my score, you could win a United shirt. So make sure you follow the link in the descriptions and big up to Super 6 for supporting United People's TV. Right then, so let's dive straight into this one. I'd say big up to, to Super 6 for supporting us. But this was the 11 that started there against Brentford. And Eric Ten Hag made three changes at halftime and he said, look, I legitimately could have taken every single one of those players off. And I think there have to be changes in this team for this game against Liverpool. And absolutely there's changes at the back. Honestly, if we had a better alternative, I think we could have a... Com well, I don't think we could have a conversation. We could have a conversation about David De Gea, who has been woeful so far at the start of the season. So many concerns about whether or not he can play the Ten Hag system. We've seen evidence to support exactly why those concerns exist. But he'll play this game. I don't think Tom Heaton will come in. And what, we're going to look at... We're going to sign Begovic? He's not going to, he's not going to move the needle. We're stuck. We're going to be stuck with goalkeepers that aren't suited to the Ten Hag system for this season. We're just going to have to deal with it. Moving on to the defence, though. Honestly, you could probably shift all of them out if you wanted to. I want to see this. Absolutely want to see this, right? Martinez got targeted against Brentford. We know that he does have a weakness inside the aerial prowess. But he didn't, I think he'll grow into it. I think he'll get better and better and better. But Brentford were just playing long ball. Brighton just played long ball. Now, Darwin Nunes being injured is probably a good thing for Martinez. and They can't be targeting him as much. But... I just, I don't want Harry Maguire in that team. He just, every time he receives the ball, I'm like, just, please. And I don't think De Gea's got the confidence. That pass that De Gea made to Ericsson against Brentford made no sense. Especially when you looked at how much space Maguire was in it. I, I, don't have, I don't think De Gea's got the confidence in him. So I would like to see that as a partnership against Liverpool. Depends, of course, whether Varane is fit or not. But, well, man, we've been saying that for a good long time. And one change I absolutely think we need to see with a capital N, Madisea coming in for Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has been tragically bad in these, part, in these opening couple of games. I was surprised he kept his starting spot against Brentford. I, honestly, I, I was surprised. Take the emotion out of it. Compare them to where they are now. Madisea should be starting this game. Not only does he have a little bit more going forward, but defensively he's got the ability to recover and cover that space, which will no doubt get exploited by 
of course, Mo Salah. And maybe it's the fact, the fact it's Mo Salah that Shaw, that Shaw will be chosen ahead of him because he's got experience playing against him. But it's actually wan who's who's played. Was it wan Was it... Sh anyway, last season. Jeez, I don't want to think about having Old Trafford. If we had a right-back alternative, I think we'd have a conversation. But we don't really. wan is nowhere near Eric Ten Hag's plan. So I think Delo will keep his spot. So I'm going to go for that as a back five. Malasia and Delo as the fullbacks with Varane and Martinez as the two centre-backs. Now, honestly, man, like you could, in midfield, basically, without De Jong and without... Asamira, who we're now linked, but without the midfielder that he has to reinforce that midfield, Eric Ten Hag is chopping and choosing and changing and trying to fix whatever he can fix inside that. I think he'll probably stick with the same three that he had against Brentford. I'm not saying it was good. It was far from good. But I don't particularly think he's going to be throwing in Iqbal or um, Savage inside and replacing Fred, or for example, and dropping Eriksen even deeper. I think on paper, that's probably the trio that should work best together. I think he'll give it another chance. I mean, in theory, you could get Matomane back in that team, but I don't think he will. Matomane's aggression is there. It's always there, but it's just the ability is not. He's a good, he's a decent enough squad player, but I don't think he should ever be more than that for Manchester United. So I would actually like to see that trio kept. I wouldn't say like, but I think they will be kept. And I need to see something from Bruno in this game, man. I think he's got a little bit of a free pass in the first couple of games because there's been so many issues. We haven't really had a conversation about Bruno. But yeah. We need to talk about Bruno. Or in the first couple of games. Bruno's got to stay. It's in these sorts of matches, man, where we need your bigger players to step up to the big occasion. Bruno, take it upon yourself because there's not many people inside this squad who are capable of doing it. He's shown that he can do it at the start when he was there. It's almost like he's getting sort of sucked in and suffocated by the, the feeling inside the club now. That's the way he's playing. Now, the front three, there are questions galore. I think, in like, a, in almost... In an ideal world, you'd probably see that. I think you'd see Garnacho coming in for Rashford. But that would be a major risk, I suppose, from Eric Ten Hag, given that we're playing Liverpool. But at the same time, a lot of you would fairly argue, Sam, it's just as much of a risk keeping Rashford in that team right now. He's playing that bad. And I agree with you. But I think, I doubt he's going to go for Garnacho and Malasia as a down on the left flank together. So I think if, and in my opinion, I'd say, Putting Matt putting Malasia in for sure is the bigger of the issues. But I think we'll probably get Rashford staying there. Sancho on the right hand side, of course, Sancho's on the right hand side. Even Sancho has let his preseason form sort of dwindle away. Just like everybody else has. Playing I mean, not like playing the shadows of, of themselves, because they it was preseason. No one's taken too much away from it, but there was just so many positive signs and they've just completely disappeared. I think Sancho will start. I want to see that Sancho back. And if he is fit. Now, this video is being recorded on Thursday evening, right? Uh, and it's going out on Friday morning. Uh, it may be a case that I didn't know that Martial was fit or wasn't fit. But if he's fit, you're damn right on getting Martial back in that team. And starting to see a bit of a resemblance to what we saw in the preseason in the front shape. It worked. It really worked. Everybody fluidly knew what they were doing. Really good one-touch football. Everybody knew where the movements were. Ronaldo coming in as disjointed that because he hasn't been part of that preseason. The players haven't played together in that system and that style with him, so they're getting used to it. And lo and behold, they don't have... You can't do things at pace when you don't really exactly know where your team's going to be. But if Martial's fit, Martial starts. If Martial's not fit, then Ronaldo starts. It's as simple as that, in my opinion. And in an ideal world, Martial is fit. And I would have Ronaldo on the bench at home against Liverpool. Didn't think we'd be saying that last season, did we? That would be my team there. Let me run through that once. De Gea in goal with fullbacks of Malasia and Dallo with a centre-back partnership of Varane and Martinez with Maguire on the bench as is Shaw. Eriksen, Fred and Bruno in midfield. No changes. If we had better, if we had someone else, I probably would make changes, but I don't think Eric Ten Hag is going to make changes there. And then a front three of Martial, Rashford and Sancho. And if Martial is not fit, then I would start Ronaldo there. As I said, there's a conversation to be had about Garnacho, but I don't think he'll change the whole left flank. I think if you're going to change one of them, I'd rather he change Malasia, and that's why I've kept Rashford in that team. Not on merit, but just on the overall balance of that left flank. You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below, and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. And as I said at the start of the video, well, not the start of the video, near the start of the video, big shout out to Super 6 for supporting United People's TV. Make sure you follow the link in the description. But will we see Varane come in for Maguire? What will happen there with Shaw and Malasia? Will Garnacho start? You let me know what you think about all of those in the comments below. 
Take it easy.